Hi everybody, welcome to this Google Sheets for Students introduction. If this is your first time using Google Sheets, um, what you will want to do in order to create a brand new spreadsheet is to head up to the top left here and then select blank where you see that big plus icon. So we're going to ahead and click that. Quick fun fact on why is it called a spreadsheet? Well, apparently many, many, many years ago before they had computers, most financial data was put into a ledger or a spreadsheet, as you can see now on the screen. And then over time, it's evolved into this. And this is just one of many apps that allow you to create spreadsheets. Google Sheets itself is split up into four key sections. You've got this top section here. You've got your file name, which we'll look at in a little bit. You've got these drop down menus. Feel free to go ahead and click on them and see what options you've got. And then you've got these other formatting options down here, along with links, comments, charts, and so on. And that's kind of your first section. Oh, one last bit to the first section is your formula bar. And we'll look at how that works in a wee bit. Then in the top right, you've got your second section, which is the sharing options. So you can share the file with other people around the world, friends and teachers. And then you've got the main section, uh, which is made up of these little rectangles called cells as well as your columns, which run from the top to the bottom, and they always use letters. And then you've got your beautiful rows here, which run from the left to the right, and they've always got numbers. And then each time you, or each cell, should I say, has a cell reference, which is made up of, and you can see that there, uh, the column and the row. The final part down in the bottom left, and in this section, you can change the name of each tab or each spreadsheet you've got, because you might end up having quite a few. All right, let's do a little project then in this introduction. I'm going to change the file name to Roblox. I play a lot of Roblox and I want this to be a, a like a data tracker. Okay, which I'm just typing in there, Roblox data tracker for lots of different parts of Roblox. So after you've typed that in, uh, you can, you know, you can press enter if you want, but it will automatically save that. And that's the beauty of all of the Google apps is they save automatically to your Google Drive. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some data into my spreadsheet. Now, this first spreadsheet is going to be a tracker of how much screen time I, I have every day or how much time in minutes I play Roblox. So I'm going to call it Roblox Daily Tracker. And what I did there, I just clicked in cell A1 and then started typing. And then at the end, or after I finish typing, you can press enter. Now, before we do that, I want to just show you the formula bar where you'll see the data has also been input to. Okay, so whatever you type down in the cell will also be replicated up there. And that comes in handy later on when you're writing formula. But for now, we're just typing in text. So I'm just going to press enter to move down to the next cell. But actually, I want to go down two cells down to A3. And in here, I'm going to put in the days of the week. So Monday, press enter, Tuesday, press enter, Wednesday, but stop. I don't need to type all of the days of the week in. What I can do after typing in the third day, I'm going to go back to cell A3, and then I'm going to highlight the uh, first three cells in column A, and I'm going to use this autofill feature to drag down the uh, cells so that it auto populates with the days of the week. Happy days. Okay, and that's one of the beauties of Google Sheets. It does a lot of work for you. Then here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in uh, daily time spent. Okay, and that will be in minutes. At the minute, or currently, I don't have any data. So just for this, the purpose of this video, I'm going to put in some data. So 30 minutes on the Monday, Tuesday, I was very tired, only 10. Wednesday, I was I spent a little bit more time. Thursday, I didn't spend any time at all. Friday, well, it is Friday after all, 60 minutes. And then I only spent five on Saturday because I was playing football. And then 100 minutes on Sunday, busy day for Roblox. And I've just finished typing in my data. Now that's changed the appearance. So I want to make this title stand out. So I'm going to select the cell. And I'm going to move up to the top section. I'm going to make that bold. I'm going to keep the font the same, but feel free to play around with all those different font types. And I'm going to increase the size to 14. 
Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to merge that so it goes across both cells. It joins, it will join cell A1 and B1 together. Now to do that, you select both of the cells and then head up again to the top section and then go to the merge button, drop down and then select merge all. And I'm going to center that too. So this is your different alignment types. You've got left, center and right. So I'm going to select center. And one other bit I'll do here, just going to add a little fill color to that because I really want it to stand out. So it's a fill color options there and then yellow. And what I'll do to the rest of the data here, I'm just going to select all my days of the week and I'm going to shift them to the right hand side. So select the cells and then head up to the alignment button and then select right. And then for the minutes spent each day, I want to center align those. So again, select the, the uh, minute spent and then select center. Nearly done, guys. The last thing I'll do for this introduction is I want to give a border to the data. So I'm just going to select those cells like such. And if you're on a Mac here, if you hold down the command button and then select the top one, it'll also select that too. And I want to add a border to those, to those cells. So head up to the section, this top section again, and then select borders, and then select your border type. So I'm going to go for all borders around that. And that is almost us. So we put in our data here. We've changed some of the formatting. The last two things we want to do is to share this. So you can do that by clicking share and then type in the email address of the person you want to share it to. So I'm just going to uh, share it to myself. And then you can actually give them three different options. If you want them to change the data in your spreadsheet, make sure that you select editor. Otherwise, if you want them to only view it, select view, that means they can't change anything. Uh, if you do want to get some feedback, you could select commenter, which means they can add their own comments. And then you can either send the, the link to them, it'll notify them, or uncheck that, copy the link, and then you could email it or Google chat to them. And then finally, so I just pressed on there, you can change the name of this tab. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to rename that to uh, daily. I'll just change it to actually screen time. And that just allows me to know what this tab is about because later on we, we will be adding more sheets or more tabs at the bottom. And that wraps up today's introduction episode to Google Sheets for students. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.